Welcome to my first ever video for YouTube. Um, also my first ever um, attempt at acrylic pour paint. And so this video might be a little bit long just because I'm actually starting from the very bit like I'm going to let you watch me mix my paint even just because, you know, I've not ever actually found one of those videos anywhere where somebody is really brand new and is actually showing every single step. Like I've seen him go back and say, oh, these are things I learned along the way, but you guys get to learn with me. So I hope I get everything positioned where you can start it. So I, in all the videos I've watched, most everybody uses Floetrol. I don't actually have Floetrol because I couldn't pick it up at Michael's yesterday and I just really wanted to get started on this. So I'm gonna order some and have it delivered. So this is just Liquitex. Um, I picked it up at Michael's. And so, you know, I'm gonna use that as my flow medium um, with my Artist Loft Titanium White. Um, not really any particular reason I picked that, except that's a color that my daughter was out of because they do um, more realistic paintings. I am definitely more of an abstract art person. They're way more talented in direct art than I am. Anyway. So my titanium white. So yay for my solo cup. And uh, like literally I've not even ever opened these before. So you can see like, I'm gonna shake a little cause I think it probably needs to get mixed up some. All right, I'm gonna open that, make a little bit of a mess here. Uh, not as easy as it looks. Or it is as easy as it looks. I don't know. It depends on what it looks like. Okay. Put that over there. Okay. So that's my daughter you're hearing. And look, see, I'm going to be all painted. All right. So, like my favorite artist and the way I cook, I don't really measure things. So, it's about, um, I don't know. I'm going to like that bottom line. I don't think I'm going to need any more than that of the Liquitex, which I think is a little thicker than what I've seen like the Floetrol be, so I'm probably going to have to add water um, in order for it to do what I want it to do. So I'm opening this and I think it's also got a, nope, it doesn't have a cover on it. That's exciting. Okay, so um, I'm going to pour, whoo, that's like really thick. So hold on, me and my, I'm reusing some old Christmas things. So Slop in there. That's a nice kind of big clumpy clump. I like that paint. That's good, good paint for regular acrylic. Okay. So, I don't know. There's that much in there. So you did, you just like me. Okay. So, so I will tell you currently my favorite person to watch do this is Canela, Canela Soraka um, and also Mina. I can't remember her last name. Anyway, so, all right, so I have that in there. This is, um, so I'm gonna stir. I don't have a long enough. To, couldn't find my large craft sticks this morning. So here you go. This is me being a real live human being with the house of people and this is my time of day that this was available. This is very, very thick. I am going to walk over to my sink and add some water to it. So just bear with me. I will be right back. Yep, we'll just you actually want to measure the water since they can't see how much you're putting in there? Well, I'm going to base. Yes, thank you, my daughter. So you can see where it is right now. I'll show you where it is when I get back. <laughs> Fuzzed up a little bit. You can see that because you have water. But it's, I have to get my fuzz down so it's like almost full. I don't think this craft stick is quite long enough for what I'm currently doing, so I'm gonna toss it out of the way and um, grab a cheapo knife out of my kitchen drawer. Okay, it's it nice and long so I can stir. Because I know I need to stir that really well. Oh, you know what I don't have over here? Mm -hmm. My daughter, because she loves me, is going to go get for me. Um, is 
a, uh, I don't actually have a torch. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be old school at the moment because like I said, this is my very first one and I wasn't didn't wanna really invest in a bunch of stuff just yet. But I need um, what we call in my house is a flamethrower. So would you go get a flamethrower for me? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, one of those. <laughs> I get over here. Just lay it on top of the canvas for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, that's so that I can torch things to get rid of the bubbles. This is not mixing as well as I thought it was going to mix. Now I understand why they all mix their paints before they get on the camera. So thank you for bearing with me. I will not do this on the camera every time I do a video. Um, because obviously this takes way too long. Feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch me figure out how to mix paint. <laughs> like that's totally up to you. You know that I can... If it's taking too long, just speed up this process. They can see it, but it's speedy. And you can do that <coughs> mid case. See, it's the, the joy of having a teenager with technology skills. Okay, so that's like thinner than I needed. I added way too much water. So, let's see. Do I add more paint or do I add more of the Liquitex? What do you guys think? Well, I was... It's not live, so you can't tell me. But my daughter can tell me. What do you think? Um, so... I, I would pour half of it into another cup because that's a lot. And if you try doing it to all of it, you will overflow. That is true. So why don't you go get me another cup? Oh, ye assistant of mine. I have an assistant who will maybe be around every time. I'm like, you know... Every time I do something, I doubt it. Not every time, but they may be around periodically. So, yeah. <laughs> But she's pretty smart. She's actually taken an art class or two. Uh -huh. Okay, so see, that's like really, really thin. And probably not, and, and a little chunky. So we're going to, all right, we're going to put it right there and hope that's enough. And then stir it a little better because like I said, it's got chunkies in it. I did not think this mixing of the paint was going to be see. So this is one of those things that I haven't seen elsewhere as to how difficult it is to mix it and have the, the chunkiness of the paint be out of it. So, all right, I think I'm going to add the, the Liquitex because it's thinner to begin with. And so it doesn't get it too thick and it's not as chunky. So it's going to be easier to store, stir. Do you want my advice though? Sure, I'll, I'll take my daughter's advice. <laughs> I'm good, I'll listen anyway. Well, cause I, I don't do know I how well um, Liquitex interacts with water, but I do know that like the paint will act like- Will interact with Will water. interact with water probably better than that. So I, I would I use a little bit both of do, that. But, okay, so my daughter's saying I should use more paint. All right, so this is where we're at. And I'm, whoop, whoop, it's got a little squeezy hole. I'm trying to make it use a little squeezy hole. I'm putting it on top of my canvas, which is probably not smart. No. <laughs> but fortunately, it's just white, and the white's going to go on the canvas at some point. Okay, that's so not working. Uh -uh. All right, so I'm squeezing it off. Come in here, pull a little paint out. Maybe I should have shook it up and stirred it up better before the first time I pulled paint out. Like, I don't know. All right, so... I'm going to do that. Look at that. And stir. Yay for the stirring process. So, hopefully, through this learning process, somebody else who just starts out won't have to quite do this learning process. Like, I don't know. Maybe you will. Because maybe you're going to be like me and not spend the money on the most expensive stuff. So, this is supposed to be thin, but I don't think it's supposed to be quite that thin. It doesn't look that thin in Canelo's and Nina's videos. So, all right, I gotta add a little more. Hold on. Yeah, like I added way too much water. Let's just say that. Okay. Technically, I guess I could have started completely over. But I didn't wanna do that. Like you should measure at least some things. That's my daughter <laughs> over there, who loves my cooking, but still thinks I should measure things. 
Oh, she okay. only wants me to measure things so that she can re do what I did. No, I just occasionally I don't like measuring okay. things like when so I that's bake, but. still kind of it's got little drips instead of actually running. I want there to be like a stream it's in the connective process. But I'm also still seeing, like when I pulled it out of there, I'm still seeing the chunks of paint. So I'm not sure how they do that and get the chunks of paint not like that. So maybe this is also part of the problem with my not having waited for the Floetol to arrive. I don't know. We're gonna, but we're gonna do this. And you know, <laughs> how much is that to trial and error? A lot. Okay, so um... uh, next time I'm using the Liquitex. Because the paint's more expensive than the Liquitex. Or should I just start over? I was going to say start over because, again, we don't know how water interacts with Liquitex, and I think you may have ruined it by putting water in there. Okay, because I know that they do <laughs> put water in when they're using the flow troll, mm -hmm. which is also a flow and an acrylic paint medium. Mm -hmm. They will add some water to it. Well, yeah. <laughs> but usually only if it's going to sit for long periods of time, they don't want it to thicken back up. So, but I know that they add water to it. I guess I just don't know how much. It's usually just a little bit of water, and I probably added way too much water. Okay, so like I said, I apologize. This is like a really long video. And yeah, that's just like not... Okay, so maybe I listen to my daughter and start over. So... I don't really, I don't really want to waste all of this, so I will probably do something else with it off line. Okay, so I literally just poured all of that out back into the original cup. I don't know that you can see that, but yeah. all of it together fills that cup over there. I will do something with that. I don't like being absolutely wasteful, so my cup is basically empty, and we shall start again. Okay, so like I said, learning from the beginning. You can still see that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So again, I'm just going to that first line in the bottom of the cup. <laughs> you say okay. first line. It's the first ridge, not oh, first line. Right, the big, the big ridge. So I guess it's not this little tiny line. It's this ridge right here th that I went to with the Liquitex. Put my lid back on that because otherwise I will knock it over. Okay. Now, so with that much she says you can see me from here Sorry. but i think it's better if i'm yeah. up here okay so in my baking history i'm gonna say that that's about a teaspoon and that's about a second teaspoon so we're gonna start there i can always add more right mm -hmm. and i think i picked the wrong kind of paint for the for the white I think it's the right kind of paint for the really small one for the colors. But I think for the white, which is supposed to be really kind of okay. But maybe I picked the wrong paint. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm stirring, I'm stirring, I'm stirring. That seems to be stirring better. And this is I don't know. Like I said, maybe I should have waited for the flow, flow trial to arrive. On Amazon, so we'll try that. But this is like trying to get it good and mixed up here. And apparently, this is the longer part of the process. I always thought it looked like, wow, that painting took like 10 minutes to do. I wonder how long it takes for when they mix up all the paints on the camera and stuff. And it's like, you know, I guess it takes a while. You know, 14 minutes. <laughs> That's a little better. So I'm going to go with, we're going to use it because, you know, hey, yeah. there we go. Okay. So white mixed. I'm going to call that good. Sit it. I'm going to sit it somewhere. There we go. I'll pick it back up in a minute. Close this off. The art is locked. Whoop. White. Alrighty. Is that a clean? I uh, wish it was a clean bucket. Okay. Do you want a clean bucket? Sure. Yay, I'm white. All right. So the colors that I'm going to use on my canvas today, so I'm letting it sit so the bubbles come out. Is so I have old gold, artist loft. Pick it up. At, I picked mine up at Michael's. 
Um, this is just deep red, Artist Loft. And uh, this one is Look At Me Blue by Folk Art. It's a paint my kids had in the house. So that's how that works. Yeah, that's for, So she brought me a paint bucket that I can sit this in. So if it tilts or spills, I'm not making a huge mess. There you go, that's, that's all that was about. Okay, paper towels. Gotta keep paper towels nearby. Okay, so, um, mostly done with that. Move that out of the way. Stick a paper towel right there so I don't get that on me. So let's start with the, um, with the Liquitex. I'm actually gonna, so I have these. These are just some cute little ramekins I had in the house. I didn't like go out and buy anything special because I didn't think I needed a lot of paint. So you can see how I'm filling that. That's, you know, at about the halfway point. Probably too much paint when I'm done because I only got, um, so I might wind up doing a second one with these colors. And so in that video, I obviously won't be showing how I mixed the colors. Okay. Okay. So that looks like those are about even. Are those in the camera there, Derry? Uh, yes or no was the right answer. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Yep, oh, I got it open this one because apparently it's brand new. My daughter hasn't used it yet. Yay for that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a pretty blue? Oh, I splattered. It's okay. That's right. The color's going to be in the paint anyway, in the picture. Anyway, so that's fine. All right. Um, I'm going to put the lid back on because I don't want to pour too much of it in. So let's, I'm going to start with the blue and I don't know, that was three, four, five, and like you know, like that much. Grabbing another, I'm reusing my sticks. I'm gonna stir that up really well. Let's see what what shade of blue that turns into mixing with all that white. I've always thought that was weird. They're mixing with the white so it's gotta weaken the colors. Oh, but that's such a pretty color that it turns out that way. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, my other assistant just walked into the room. Say hello. Hi. There you go. So that's her voice. Okay. So that's that color. And then we're going to do the deep red. See, they take such good care of their paints. My children do. And that's that other possible future assistant. My mother say hello. Hello. There you go. All righty. I'm not really confused. I know that, but you're going to talk because you do. Because you're my mom. There we go. And we'll throw a little more red in there. Okay. So like I said, I don't measure anything. So I art the way I cook, which is why I'm really good at, or at least I think I'm good at um, abstract. So this is definitely gonna be more of a pink maybe than a red, but that's okay. So get it, get it all stirred up. It's not pink, it's pastel. Pastel red, also known as mm, pink, <laughs> my daughter. Oh, no. I love my assistants here. Okay. All righty. And then I'm going to do the gold. This is old gold. Also not been opened because I just bought it yesterday. I should have known that. Oh, isn't that cute? That little tiny tab. Yay. Get that out of the way. Put this back on because, again, I don't want too much squirting out at once. some of that. I like the gold to show. A little more of that than I did the other colors. Okay. And again, a recycled popsicle stick from Christmas a couple of years ago. Right. Oh, that's not necessarily, oh, that's going to need more actual paint in with the Liquitex, I think, in order to get that Gold color, so hold on a second. Yes, and there's my mother's input. I forgot. That's okay. I told you you were going to talk, so you had to introduce yourself. I knew it would happen. Yes, he is. That would be my husband. My mother talking about paying her rent because 
like all of the other people who love me, they live in my house. Oh, no, not everybody who loves me lives here. I got lots of people who love me. But anyway, so. <laughs> very long video. I don't know. This, this is not, so like, apparently I need to go back and watch paint mixing again. But we're going to do it because my little cup's full. We're going to do it this way and see what happens anyway. So it's got a very iridescent -y old like I said this is my first time ever making a YouTube video and or doing the flow acrylic paint stuff so this also appears too thick because it's supposed to run and drip and unlike the last time I added that's not it um, Grace you're here and assisting me yes Fill that with water and bring it back to me, please. I'm going to add a little bit of water. So this one, this one looks much better. Oh, maybe not. After I stir it up, it's not got that. It's still supposed to be a little thinner than this. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. This is why I should have waited for the flow trawl, I think. I think it's the Liquitex is not quite as good of medium as the flow trawl. So it's a good thing that uh, like it's um, right. water soluble. Right, that's what they use. The, yeah, you know, in my, in all the videos that I've watched, they, you know, adding water's an issue. Um, no silicone though. I had all the best people tell me no silicone. So no silicone. Oh. And I dropped, I dripped again on my canvas. So this is like, that's better. There we go. So, so that's dripping. It's not necessarily sitting on top. So that's good. Oh, look, the helpers are leaving. I think they have to go to, they have school that starts soon. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do another couple of drops in here. A little bit, oh. And let's stir that in. I don't have a lot of room in my gold cup. It's also not looking very gold at the moment, but that's okay. It's like I said, it's my first one. You guys are all with me at the start. Oh yeah, see, that's a good consistency. I just need to make sure it's stirred really, 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 really well here. So it's, it's consistent throughout. There we go. That, okay, so that's good. Will have to be good enough for my first time around. <sighs> Not a lot of room. We're gonna add just a little bit of water. Oh, okay. So, do 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 do. By the time I get around to posting this, my first video, I will have learned a few things. So there might also be notes in the comments for you guys for when you're watching my later videos. I'm going to stir this not over my canvas because I keep dripping on my canvas, which seems like a sad thing to do. Um, but I think that this kind of thing is why there's an advantage of having very specific measurements in the squeeze bottle. So Canela, I haven't seen Mina do it, but like Canela's got squeeze bottles. They're actually about this size, but she gets them from Milton. I will, if I decide I'm gonna keep doing this, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. And it's a little thicker than the others, but I think, uh, I'm gonna add just a touch more water. Anyway, so if I continue doing this, I'm going to do that for like a, whoop, pre-mix my, paints into um, some squeeze bottles and work from there um, so that I'm not wasting all of this time every single time I try to do a painting or want to do a video. Like Again, obviously I said I'm not going to, um, this is supposed to be a learn with me so that you can see this is what it looks like when you watch a bunch of videos and go, oh yeah, I can do that. This is how it turns out. Okay, so this is the reality. All right, so this has got a little bit better. So we're, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, because that's where I'm at. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting tired of watching me stir paint. All right, so step one. 
I'm gonna get that off of there, maybe, hopefully. Anyway. Alrighty, so I didn't put gloves on. I was supposed to put gloves on. Oh, I didn't do that. Somebody let the dogs out, please. That's one of my real world. Okay. So supposed to flood my canvas with white. Now this is an eight by ten um, canvas. And oh, the other thing I didn't do. So hold on while I fix that problem. I was supposed to push push pins in the back to stand it up so it's got some place to float through and so I can pick it up underneath. And I didn't do that, so I'm gonna stick something else underneath it. Okay. No, 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 no. It has to be like if I was really smart, I would have a level out here. So this is like a giant cupcakey holder. So I'm just gonna. Nope, that stretches my canvas. I can't do that that way. So hold on real quick while I find a couple things to stick under the corners here. Um, I have to have multiples of the same size, and we need a couple. So sorry, folks, for not being in the. Hmm. Okay. So if I just do two corners, that means I have to be really super careful. Yay for Tupperware. Um, okay, so. there and there. Okay, so I get to be really careful. Yay me. Okay. Now. Thank you, Assistant Grace. All right. Um, I promise my future ones I will be way better prepared than what I am at the moment. So I'm actually gonna just, oh, you know, I'm gonna use my knife and uh, the flat side of my knife to help spread this. See, that is really chunky. So I really have got to learn about mixing paints because that's not supposed to be chunky like that. So I like, all right, so this one's gonna probably wind up getting scraped and starting to or, or not, I will keep it as my very first painting, but my next, my next ones will have a little bit more love in them, I guess. Um, a little bit more count, and like I said, I think I will wait for uh, my flow trawl, because I think maybe that that's part of the difference. Everybody, all the videos, everybody likes to use flow trawl, which is just a paint pouring medium. Um, I've seen other videos where they talk about, oh, you can use anything. You can, I've seen videos where you can even just use white paint, um, white, you know, all purpose glue. And I'm like, okay, so I figured out, oh, you know, it's a pouring medium. It should be fine. I'm not sure why Michaels and Hobby Lobby, cause trust me, I looked, didn't carry the flow trawl. So naughty on them. Um, I may try to get my corners here. Paint everywhere. Do, 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 do. Everybody else uses their fingers. I've already got paint on mine, so I don't know why I'm not doing that, but okay. So a flooded canvas with this chunky paint. Like, believe me, I am very tempted right now to just say to heck with this because it didn't turn out well, but I had promised myself I was gonna do it. This is what it looks like when you first say, oh, let's watch all these videos and see what happens. Uh, you know, oh, look, I've watched them. I can do this. Yeah. This is what it really looks like when that's how you do this. So, alrighty. I'm going to start with my blue. And um, I'm gonna just pour it right in the center. Oof. Yeah, no, maybe that's not too, oof. I don't know, I have to get better at the paint mixing. Alrighty, you see it's separating, it's not doing well. Apparently I don't like Liquitex, okay. So that's, that's the step one. So, all right, so now I'm gonna pour some pink in the middle of that. And then um, 
what is supposed to be old gold, but, you know, didn't mix with the Liquitex that way. So, um, I'm not sure how it's going to work. So it's more of a cream color. Okay. Um, now the next thing you're supposed to do is add more white around the outside edges. I'm going to try stirring it up a little. Oh, no, actually, I'm supposed to be, like, popping bubbles. At this point, I've got all these chunks. I'm not so sure I'm supposed to worry about bubbles, but we'll do it just because I'm supposed to, right? Alrighty, so I don't have one of those fancy dancy blow torches. I have you know, my good old fashioned gonna light my fireplace. If I can get it to oh come on. And just kind of move that over the top to pop bubbles that I might see. And I do see a few bubbles. There's oh, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. You gotta get the heat close enough to it to don't want to burn anything though. Okay, so ooh, ooh, watching the bubbles pop. That's actually kind of fun. Satisfying. So again, I'm gonna get myself a real torch um, to make it a little easier to do. Now. Okay, I didn't really pop bubbles in the white. That's because I like I don't know that I saw bubbles in the white. I was so concerned about the chunks I'm seeing in the white, which is way more concerning to me. But, oh, well, I did that. So now I'm supposed to pour white around the outside of this, right? So this is what we've, we, me, if you've ever watched any of the others, this is what they do, right? So now, I'm supposed to get the white over onto the top. And so like I could blow that and there's my husband. Say hello, husband. Hello. That's all you're allowed to say, I love you. <laughs> Because this is already not turning out the way it's supposed to. And so that's okay, but everybody knows that. Don't you, everybody? Okay. So, I love you. Don't watch me. That makes me really feel weird when you but watch But I want me. to laugh. Of course you do. See, the blowing's not working very well, but I didn't bring my blow dryer in with me because I thought it was small enough I would just do it this way for the first time. It's too thick. It's too something, so it's not blowing very well. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to have my paint in my hair. So I'm going overall with this as an overall fail. All right, let me see if I can turn it. And um, I guess I should, oh, there we go. Put it on those corners. You have to get really close to it to blow on this, by the way. But I want you to be able to see. And all my family and friends out there who are laughing at me just that's, that's okay. This is... My hair got in the paint. Yeah, yippee. Okay, so we all see that it's really not working the way the other videos make it appear that it's going to work. It looks like maybe if I had all the right stuff that it would look okay in the end. Let me do it. Literally. Um, okay. I don't know if at this point a straw would work. So I am going to call this particular painting basically a fail. And so because of that, we're going to try some other things with it. And we're just going to do this. I found your blow dryer. He did find my blow dryer. I have an air compressor Perhaps outside, a little but that late. would blow it across the room. Right. I know. It's okay. I will use it for my next one. I've okay. kind of... We're just doing something totally weird, and the only reason I'm even going to bother to try to save this is because it was my very first one. And everybody out there in YouTube land, when they finally see this, my husband has no clue what I'm doing here, because he didn't see what this was supposed to look like. Um, you could keep mixing anyways, it, it'll all turn gray. I'm not trying to turn gray. I'm trying to scrape some of it off so it will dry better, but I still have some really cool color 
combination things in it maybe. Anyway, this one is gonna get kept because this was my first one. Um, my daughters who know how to edit will edit in a picture of it after it's dry. So things we learned in the very first of firsts is probably Floetrol. I'm gonna order some. I'm not going with other mediums ever again. That's number one. Number two, I need to go back and look at, um, although there's not exact measurements, at least like I think, is it a one-to-one? -one? Is it more of a two-to-one on the medium versus the paint? And typically to mix all the paint before I start the video. Although once I've researched a little bit before I do my next one, my next one will also have me mixing some of the paint just so you can see the difference between this and the next step with what I've learned. So, because this is about learning for real instead of learning for pretend. So, thanks for watching. Um, by the time this hits YouTube, there's gonna be a like button and a subscribe button and probably a bell to ring so you can get notifications when I post the next ones. So, do all that, that's great. Thank you for watching. Now I get to be able to...